A consonant, please. D. And a vowel. E. And a consonant. D. Hmm, that's me. Mm -hmm. uh, a consonant again, please. And G. Vowel. O. And a vowel. E. And a consonant. L. And another consonant, please. G. And a final consonant as well. And please. that is R. Right, here's a clock. thinking safe six or a dodgy, very dodgy eight. Well, uh, what are you going to go for? Safe six. Safe six. Brian? Six. Six. Let's have the safe six from Mike. Lodger. Lodger. Just a matter of interest, what was the eight? Stick an ED on the end of it. What? Lodgered. 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 <laughs> I thought probably not, really. Isn't that, isn't that a criminal offence? <laughs> <laughs> and Brian? Mine's lodger as well. Lodger. So you've both got uh, sixes with the, with the lodger. What have we got in the corner there? Uh, we've got sixes. Dredge, dodger... Lodged. Lodger. Uh, you know. yeah. right, this tight game continues here, but just the one-point difference. So, Brian, we're going to ask you this time to put the letters up there, please. A vowel, please, Carol. I. Vowel. A. Consonant. <laughs> Z. Consonant. M. Consonant. N. A vowel. E. Consonant. C. A vowel. A. Another consonant. And T. And here's a clock. Time, Brian. Just five. Just five, Mike. Can't even get five. You got four. Mm. What have you got? Mate. Mate and the five. Amaze. Amaze. Right. Well, yep. can we get any more than five there, John? Uh, yeah, we can get a seven. Seven <laughs> is uh, animate. Well, that's good. Animate. Brian's got forty-four. Mike's got thirty-eight. And it's Susie with her origin of words or phrases. What are we dealing with today? We're talking about hanging fire today. To hang fire. To hang fire was all about firearms. It used to be loaded with a gunpowder charge that was poured from a flask. Um, and that gunpowder was ignited by the striking of a flint against an iron plate. Um, and gunpowder was, was very, very unpredictable um, uh, back in the 18th, 19th century. Um, and it also could get damp quite quickly, in which case the charge wouldn't ignite. So there'd be a lot of smouldering going on, but nothing actually would be released. Um, and so, obviously, it was hanging fire. That's, that was the phrase. It, hang, it hung fire. It didn't actually um, uh, shoot or, or explode. Um, and, again, that sort of acquired a figurative meaning to mean somebody who um, was hesitant or held back. So that's hanging fire. Um, but there's another expression which I always think is quite interesting, which is quite similar, and that's a flash in the pan. You know, someone's a flash yeah. in the pan. And that's to do with a gun where gunpowder was poured into the, um, the hole of a gun, um, and it would burn fiercely um, without igniting the main charge. So the main charge wouldn't go off, no sort of bullet would come out, but there was a flash in the pan, a brief sort of ignition, and then nothing after it. So both come sort of 18th, 19th century, um, and artillery. Talking about fires, have you done giving someone the boot? No. That's a good one. If you go That's to one of those, whatever the museum is, that I can't think what it is under the arches and the South Bank in London, because like, we always do this in foot, because, you know, football managers get the boot all the yeah, time. Sure. And what it was, was if you committed some particularly heinous crime, <laughs> mm -hmm. you used to wear this leather boot and then were fixed into this seat Ow. with your foot over the fire <gasps> and the leather was so strong that that didn't burn, but your, but your leg foot... inside the oh. boot did. So your leg frazzled away, so you were left with half a leg, <laughs> but the boot was still there. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Right, I, sh I, sh I shall move on with that thought in mind. <laughs> <laughs> 
we're, oh, we're, we're, we're going to turn to the numbers. And uh, uh, Mike, you're going to be calling out oh. the numbers this time. Two and four, please, Carol. Two, Two big. Four smaller ones. OK, let's move to numbers. And 10, 8, 6, 4 and 75 and 100. With uh, a target nod number 2, 2, 5. And here's that clock. Five, Mike. How do we go? Two, two, five. You got that, Brian? Two, two, three. Two, two, three. Right, uh, Mike. Well, let's hear your version. Okay. Eight divided by four gives you Eight, two. Yes, yeah. so you're looking for the three here, aren't you? Mm -hmm. It's two. And then six divided by that two. Yeah, six over the two gives you the three. Which you multiply by seventy-five. <laughs> Absolutely. You've got to know your seventy-five times table to go on count down. That does give you the right answer. Two, oh, two. Well <laughs> Better. <laughs> As we go to the break, Mike's uh, got his head in front there. OK, uh, the, here's the clue here. Uh, the word is armvoke, A-R-M-E-V-O-K-E, armvoke. And the clue, bowl the sixth ball for a new look. Bowl the sixth ball for a new look. The word was arm voke and the clue bowl the sixth ball for a new look. And the answer, makeover. Make, make over, yeah. you see? Over. There you go. Let's, yep. get back, let's get back to this game here. It's a really good game it now. 48 game. playing 44. Mike's got the lead and Brian's got the uh, letters to put up there. A vowel, please, Carol. Thank you. I. A vowel. O. Consonant. K. Consonant. <laughs> Nearly got oik there, didn't you? Consonant. T. Consonant. M. Vowel. U. Vowel. E. Consonant. R. And another consonant. And S. And here's the clock. OK, Brian, how do we go? Seven. Seven this time. And Just Mike, the six. Just the six. Let's have you six, Mike. Strike. Strike. And the seven? Mustier. Mustier. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah. Right, let's change the scores around again. They're real neck and neck up the straight, these two. <laughs> what have we got over there in the corner? We've got an eight. An eight, oh. yeah. But we've also got tourism and smokier as sevens, and then as an eight, murkiest. Ah, what a good word. Corners flying the flag very well today, doing great. 51-48, Brian's got his nose in front again, and it's Mike's turn with the letters. There you go.